Supersport race, we knew William Dunlop had a fast bike, it was like a missile, so I knew later on in the day we had to try our best to hang on to him. Um, second race was superbike race, uh, hit a neutral, which made a mistake, went up a slip road, um, but bounced back. Um, you know, I, I came through the pack after making that mistake and finished second, so I knew I had a good pace on the superbike. The superstock race was probably the toughest because I didn't get a break. I didn't, didn't, the two Kawasaki guys were hassling me the whole race. And I seen Josh Brooks boarding me at the Magic Roundabout. I seen P4, so I knew with me leading on the road, we weren't the leading group. So I just thought, right, I'm going to have to shake these boys off and do the best I could. Crossed the line first, but it was like a bit of a time trial with Michael Rudder winning the race. And he started from the second group. So that was three seconds. And I thought, Flip, what have I got to do here to win a race? So when I in the Supersport race, knew I had to hang on to that fast uh, Honda of William Dunlop's. Tried my best to make a break, couldn't do it, so I just thought, right, last lap, let's go. Along the coast road, and a back marker came into, came into play, and I just done the same move that I'd done in Stuart Easton, 2010 Superbike race. Up the inside of church, um, I think we rubbed the elbows, but there was nothing malicious in it, so nice to bring it home and get that first win and then go on with a bit of confidence into the last superbike race and I knew with the pace in the earlier race and with no mistakes we should have it okay so the first three laps I had a little gap um, the last three laps I put the head down and managed to pull about plus two um, seconds so very good um, brilliant for the Taiko Suzuki team and of course all the sponsors involved Red Torpedo, Beacon etc um, etc et and of course my personal sponsors it's a big international road race this year and I've been enjoying it since ever ever since it started, 2004. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and uh, get a bath, have a nice dinner, have a few beers and just relax and enjoy it. Read the papers tomorrow and that's when it'll kick in. I'm